Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video. This is a somewhat reaction, but more like just sort of in-depth look at the Canada versus Mexico game, which I had a lot of suggestions for, I'm not gonna lie. And I've seen from what people have messaged me, it was crazy. And I know the result. I mean, I, I follow the sport, so I know what goes on. I like checking sort of who's qualifying for the World Cup or who's doing this, who's doing that. So I do know the score. I haven't seen the goals. I haven't seen any of that. I saw like the celebrations. I think it's on here. <laughs> I'm not going to click it because I don't... I don't want to get this video... Oh, no sound, no sound, no sound, no sound. <laughs> it's just crazy. The conditions were mental. I, I've heard... I mean, I can see, but like... Let's just hit this, this one here. Like, look. I mean, Canada's obviously cold. Very cold in the winter. But where is Edmonton? Ooh. Whereabouts is it located on the map? So I just, want, I just want to say this. This is what these videos are like. I like sort of looking at these random sort of things. So it's a bit a bit off Calgary. So it is... Li oh, it's actually like... <laughs> it's like usually you would expect them to be like sort of below this line. It's, it seems to be like just above the line. Maybe not. Maybe it's just like sort of at the level of the line where 95% of people live. But... Yeah, I mean, I just know this is crazy. And it's against Mexico as well. And, I mean, just looking at the squads. This isn't even, from what I know, this isn't even Canada's best team. So the fact they managed to do this, you look at this, the stats, quite a close game. I mean, they've got less possession, but you'd expect that. Because you look at the names. I know Atiba Hutchinson. He's old, but he's a very good player. I don't actually know this guy. Who does he play for? Paco Ferreira. So he plays in the Portuguese... Premier League or what's Liga Nars that's the name he actually he must be a decent player then played for Mexican teams Cruz Azil I can't say the name oh so he's of Portuguese and Canadian descent so I guess he's like got that techie sort of style to him he's like just a baller but um don't, I don't actually know many of these players I know Henry he used to play for West Ham he was like an academy player or like a younger player there obviously Kyle Laren or however you say it Davies, who's been play, he plays for the wing for Canada, doesn't he? He was actually initially a winger, so it does make sense. You've got Jonathan David, who came off the bench. Is Liam Miller the one who played for Liverpool? He is. That's interesting. Obviously, you've got Iker Ugbo, who I think he played his first game recently. He's He just went to the Belgian League, so again, he's a you've got a lot of options attack, attacking wise, especially. You've got Laren Davies. Flipping David and Ugbo. And it's probably more that I'm not even thinking. You've also got Miller here as well. But that's a good option, a good load of options, especially offensively. But like recently I've been looking at like the, the CONCACAF sort of teams and it's really getting built up. Like you've got Jamaica who are looking like they're building a good squad. They've not done great in the table in the qualifiers, but they've got like, obviously like Leon Bailey, they've got um Antonio, they've got a lot of sort of Low Premier League, Premier League level players plus like high level championship players like Kemar Roof and stuff like that. No, it's not in the championship, but you know what I'm saying. Obviously, you've got Mexico who are third. Canada are first. When was the last time they qualified for the World Cup? Because three teams go through automatically, right? And then one team gets like a playoff game against like an Oceanic team or something like that. So, I mean, looking at that, these top four look pretty secure. Five points off Costa Rica. Who Canada hasn't haven't actually lost, so they've played. They've won two one against Mexico, beat Costa Rica, beat Panama. They've won. They won a free free game win streak. Drew to Jamaica, drew to Mexico. So they've actually got a better record over the two legs against Mexico. Beats El Salvador, drew against the US, drew against Honduras. Flipping hell! So they've got Honduras next. They need like six point now. Nah, they're like nine points. It's looking good, and I mean, with this video, I'm going to have to sort of skip to the goals, and I'm going to have to have the sound down, because I don't know if this is going to get blocked. It probably will. If you see it get cut out, it's because I can't react to it. I mean, I, I'm trying to sort of find a way to do these videos, because I love them, but it's hard, because this is obviously like either a Canadian or a US um, channel, so it's going to get blocked for sure, I'm pretty, I'm pretty honest, if I don't turn the sound off. So that's going to be the case. I'm going to have to skip the goals. So it's at the 45th plus two and 52nd minute. I haven't actually seen them. Um, 
So it's about here. I want to see the build up play as well. Right, let's get into this. Oh, we went for that. Oh, he's got the rebound. Pachoa, man, what are you doing? Oh, he's loving it, man. Because he was, Laren was at Orlando, wasn't he? The Orlando, um, what's, what's the name? I was going to say Orlando Pirates, but that's the South African team. I don't even know the second name, but the team based in Florida. Read it well, to be fair. Is that the Portuguese um, Canadian guy who done that? Or the Canadian Portuguese guy? So that's the first one. Again, I'm trying to skip over this a bit because I, I really don't want this to get blocked. I love posting these videos, so I mean, I'm going to try and be as careful as possible. So this is from across, huh? We read it well again, man. And this is where the celebration comes in, isn't it? it just jumps. <laughs> who is that? I don't know who that is. Ah, uh, you love it though. You see, he's like the excitement that he's feeling, man. The, the, just the happiness he's feeling. If if they do qualify, this is these are the games that will qualify them because this is against the the probably the on paper the joint best team in North America, and you're beating them. Flipping hell, man. I can't ima imagine how crazy Canada went. I cannot imagine, man. I really hope they qualify. I've got like, a little soft spot for them. I hope Canada the US qualify. I'd love Jamaica to qualify, but it's not looking likely. I like Mexico as well, to be fair. So I'll, I'd like Mexico to qualify as well, because their fans are always probably the best at the World Cups. And if I was to say a fourth, I would say Jamaica. But I guess... Panama, Panama again. So England can get another 7 0 win, you know what I mean? But this is the Mexico goal, yeah? Which is a good header. From Hector Herrera. <laughs> They're beefing. Wait, the keeper's got track, he's on. What a guy! He reminds me of that Hungarian goalie. Um, Kerali, or whatever. Gabo Kerali. I love it when keepers wear track, he's like, it's so funny. Corona with a cross. It's a well, it's a well-made goal, but obviously they still lost. But yeah, man. I mean, I don't know how to sort of format these videos in future. You look at the sort of starting 11s though. This Mexico team, man, they're really underperforming. They shouldn't be like losing this many. Like, is this the worst they've qualified in the World Cup qualifiers in a long time? But god damn, man. Buchanan, where was he about? Plays for. He plays for Club Bruges. Is he a little baller? Go, go to the trusted transfer market. I love this site, man. I'm not going to lie. It's my favourite. Actually, look at his MLS stats. He's a little baller, man. 27, and, 27, 8, and 6. Came from Syracuse. And he's now about to go to Club Bruges. Jeez, okay. Breaking, breaking into Europe. Come on, man. I hope he does well. So you got, obviously, Davis Larin. Lareda, or Laria, I can't say his name. Midfielder, right back, plays for Toronto. This guy, the guy who celebrated like crazy. Oh, who's that other kid? The guy from Nottingham Forest. I swear he's like English Canadian, a British Canadian, or Canadian British, or whatever. What's his name? Alex Mitten, Mitten, something like that. Is he? Is it US or Canada? I, just, I want to see, wait, if I search this, Canadian British players, because I was really scared Tamori was going to choose Canada because he wasn't, he's not getting the selections for England, luckily he got, he got selected recently, but he's like a really, obviously people know he's a really good defender, no I don't want to see that, wait, no, nah. it's not going to pop up is it, but um, Alex Martin. I swear he is. Oh no, it's the US, okay, so it's not Canada, it's the US. That's my bad. <laughs> Bit off. But yeah, Tamori, of course. Imagine if he went play for Canada, man. Pro, they'd have had a beastie team. But yeah, man, I mean, let me know your thoughts on this. If you are from Canada, obviously, you must be buzzing. 
are absolutely buzzing. This is obviously huge for your country. Like, I can't imagine how the feeling is because, again, I think it's been like probably like 20, 30 years since they qualified. Pascal Sierk, I'm loving it. So, I mean, like, it, it must be such a crazy new feeling for the fans diving into Qatar. Like, and to be fair, the, the Canadian team were probably the best suited team for this World Cup. I mean, actually, they won't because I'm saying it's in winter, but it's in Qatar, so it's still hot. Maybe not. I'll take that back. <laughs> He's one of the greatest moments in Canadian sports history. I love that man. Hopefully this is sort of bringing new people to the sport as well. Because obviously when your country starts doing well, when your team starts doing well, you start loving a sport that maybe previously you didn't care about. Just being being proud to see your, your country do well, man. <laughs> what a guy, man. I love that. <laughs> it's made my day. Um... I just want to see those tweets, but there's not really much more to see, is there? Canada in the world, in the world. It, so they've never been in the World Cup then. No World Cup. I swear they've been in it once. Ninth and eighty six. They played in a signing match against Honduras on a freshly laid cow pasture at St. John's. St. John's. But yeah, man, everything about this is just just screams Canada, man. Playing in like those conditions, like you've got them in snow, like just crazy ass snow. And for those Mexicans, man, I mean, it's a different sort of change of climate because obviously in Mexico it's damn hot. You're going up to Canada, man, you've got a whole different circumstance. So that probably helps somewhat as well as the fans and stuff. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. I might post a full reaction on my Patreon. I mean, I'll try and post a full reaction of this, but I'll probably have to post a full reaction on my Patreon. Because obviously, if people want it, because obviously it will get blocked here, so people can watch it there. Links will be in the description for that if you are interested. But yeah, hopefully you did enjoy this one, man. If you're Canadian, man, honestly, I'm happy for you. So, so damn happy because it's just cool to see. I like seeing new sort of teams rise. You sort of had it with, obviously not to the same degree, but you had it with Belgium recently and it just had an influx of talent. And yeah, I'm seeing it with like the US and Canada. I've been looking at it and Jamaica as well. I've been looking at it and I'm like, God damn, it, the whole sort of circumstances in um, the con with the CONCACAF teams could con completely change. And it's just, yeah, it's just cool to see. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. Again, a bit of a mess, but it's just something that people are suggesting for me to do. I wanted to do it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, like, subscribe.